Hello, my name is Ryan Verbecki and I am the Manager of Principal Architects at Bertana. Today we are going to go over a short video on load balancing analysis using Balance Finder Analytics. The purpose of this video is to show you how to use Virtual Wisdoms Analytics to help you identify if there are any load balancing issues within your infrastructure or any multipathic concerns that you should address. Integrations used in this video are the switch integration using traditional FC metrics, our fiber channel hardware integration, reference and analytics when applicable. The services report used if you want to do further investigation would be VI fiber channel utilization. And the analytics we will use are balance finder. Why should you investigate load balancing or multipathing concerns? Imbalanced host workloads can drive imbalanced fabrics or MPIV uplinks. Imbalanced fabric workloads can potentially have more risk on buffer credit starvation and impact to performance across the environment. Improper load balancing or multipathing software configuration could potentially lead to downtime during hardware failures. Higher device workloads due to multipathing issues could lead to higher than expected response times. And workload imbalances leading to higher response times for critical applications could potentially have a financial impact to the company. We will now go into a demonstration using virtual wisdom. Once logged into the Virtual Wisdom interface, you will want to go to the Analytics section on the left-hand side of the screen. From within Analytics, you would want to go to the Balance Finder Analytic, which is going to be down at the bottom of the screen under the Application Service Assurance. You're going to see the Balance Finder Analytic, and to run a new one, you can click on Run New, or you can do a New Analytic and Run New from up in the top, Balance Finder. So if I click Run New, what it's going to do is take me into the Balance Finder Analytic. And from here, you want to choose what you want to run Balance Finder against. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and do, you can do it by host names or host filtered. From host filtered, you can go in and change from application to particular host that you want to filter to. And then select the host you want to do. Or from the main screen, if you just click host filtered and then just say OK. It will give you all hosts that populate into the Balance Finder Analytic. And then what you'll want to do is go ahead and set the time frame that you want to run against. So from here, I'd probably do at least a minimum of two weeks to kind of get a good understanding. Um, sometimes you'll want to run it for 30 days. If you run it for too short of a window, what you might get is you might miss is capturing a time frame that there was an unbalanced workload. So I usually recommend a minimum of doing at least two weeks. For the sake of this one, I'll just go ahead and click the last 30 days, click apply. And then when you hit run, it's going to go out and search for all hosts. It's going to search the path that each host has. And it's going to look at the workload balancing across the paths that the hosts have through the fabric down to the storage on the back end. And it's going to do a calculation based around the metrics that we see and see how well those paths are balanced. So if I click run, it's going to go out and do a search. For purposes of this, I'm going to go ahead and go back to my analytics section and show you one that I already ran. Underneath here, I'm going to go down and look at my output. Underneath output, you're going to see the one that I actually clicked on that was currently running. Processing about 20%, usually pretty fast in most environments, depending on the size. Um, this is one that I ran to prepare for this video. We're going to click on this one, and what you're going to get in here is you're going to get host. It's going to have the time frame that originally sent for this demonstration I did the last 30 days. What you'll get is a view of the balanced distribution of the percentage of HBAs. So it's going to tell me that I have no traffic or minimal traffic on seven devices. I have active passive workloads on one. I have imbalanced workload or 7.1% of the environment on two devices. And from a balance perspective, I have 18 balanced devices. So this is a small environment to run this test for this video. But what you're going to see is it'll break down. If you had a device that was single path, it would say single path, as in having only one HBA. And we depicted it as having only a single path down to the fabric. You can export this out if you want and save this as well to a PDF, PNG, or so on, uh, the data to clipboard, or, or however you prefer. If you scroll down, what you're going to get is the spreadsheet that goes kind of over what it found across the environment. If you don't want to see the balanced, you can take the balanced out or you can leave them in the list. 
what you get is a name of the host name of the device. So this is actually our UCS fabric uplinks. This is that ho as a host. This is going to be our UCS 11, our UCS 12, 15, and so on. It'll give you the host name. It'll give you the status, imbalance, balance, active, passive, whatever we've decided based on the data collection for the time frame that we looked at. It has substatus, so it'll say things like imbalance, recently imbalanced, or recently balanced to tell you if we detected a change during the window that you're looking at. So if you were recently, uh, you were balanced and you recently went imbalanced, it would say recently imbalanced. It gives you the megabytes per second and it's going to tell you the device it's connected to. And what, what you want to see is it for the, each of the devices underneath. So for instance, on this imbalance one, if I expand this out, it's going to tell me the two paths for UCS fab. It's going to show how much I'm doing down each path. And you can see I'm doing more on this path than this path. It's going to say the name of the host port. This is A31. This is A32. And then this is the switch it goes through and the fabric it's connected to. If I want to see the workloads for the time frame that I referenced up here, I'll go ahead and click on this little magnifying glass. It'll populate it up and it'll show me what those workloads are. And you can see that while the pattern does somewhat follow, it doesn't follow exactly. So during this particular time frame, I was pushing 124 megabytes per second down one path and only 22 down the other. So therefore, this one is going to come back and show imbalanced. If I look at one that's more balanced, like this particular host, you can see where it's connected. You can see I'm doing 8.14 megabytes per second on each path. If I click on it, it's going to show you here. And if it looks like it's only one path, but I've actually highlighted, you can see both the A and B HBA for that UCS 11 host, and they are completely balanced. You can export this list to CSV if you want to uh, do it. Um, you can also see that we have an active passive host down here. So what you can want to do is export this list out. Maybe you have a set of hosts that you want to look at that a particular group supports configuration wise and you want to send it to them showing them that, hey, of the 30 servers you manage, 25 of them are in balance. We need to understand what's going on. Is it a multi-pathing issue? Is it some sort of zoning, masking issue, whatever it may be? But this will allow you to do an overall view of the entire environment or you can do a subset of your environment depending on what you choose to look at up here in the top. I didn't filter anything specific, I just did all host, and it allow you to actually look at what the balancing infrastructure is across your environment to see if there's any sort of potential misconfigurations in multi-pathing software, imbalances. It'll also let you know if there's things like a single path HBA that the, where you could possibly tell if, hey, if I have a failure on that HBA, I know that HBA, it, if it goes down, that host is going to go down because I don't have a redundant path to the fabric. Um, maybe this one, active passive down here, maybe this particular active passive is by design. Some, some hosts operate in an active passive configuration, but some of them could be the way that you have multipathing configured. So this one has no traffic. This one has all the traffic. So it gives you a good understanding of your infrastructure, your host, and how they're balance properly through the fabrics that they're connected through to talk to the storage on the back end. So in summary, we demonstrated how to run the balance finder analytic to look at the imbalance workloads within your infrastructure. We displayed how to use the balance finder findings to review the trends of the host workloads. We also reviewed the substatus possibilities. We reviewed recently balanced versus recently imbalanced. There's an additional substatus setting of balanced and same fabric to detect two HBAs cabled on the same side of the fabric. We reviewed data to show where connectivity of the devices is within the infrastructure, and we explained how to export a full list of the balance finder findings. Example of next steps. If the environment shows imbalanced workloads, then you should validate the host configuration and if multipathing is working correctly. For single path devices, validate if they are truly single path devices or if aliases are affecting the ability of virtualism to understand all host paths. If a server shows active passive, then you should validate if that's by design or a misconfiguration. And for no traffic or minimal traffic servers, review the server for new build status or potential resource recovery. Additionally, it should be mentioned that FCOE data is not currently validated in the virtualism balance finder. This concludes our video on fabric load balancing validation. I want to thank you for watching.